Hi everyone, this is Ahmet Akarsu from 19 Mayıs Türk Marif Koleji. In this video I will try to make a quick and short revision about Excel. So let's get started. I will assume you were given these data and you have already written them on a worksheet. And I will show you how to obtain this final version, which has formatting, formulas and the chart. One of the best things about Excel is that whenever you change any data, the results are automatically updated. So let's assume Marius um, didn't get zero, but he got 10. So as you see, chart change, he has passed and it turned into green, etc. So let's start from the beginning. First of all, there are some long texts which don't fit into the corresponding cells. There are different ways to make them fit into the cell. I will show just one of them. I will choose the first line and I will say wrap text. As you see, long texts are divided into two separate lines. If you want, you can change the color of cells by choosing a color from this bucket. Um, just like in Word, if you want, you can make right center or left alignment. In Excel, there is also vertical alignment, so you can um, put them top, center or bottom. If you want to change color of text, just like in Word, you can use this button. You can choose the color you want. Um, to make these long text fit into the cells, I will show another method. Um, on this ribbon in the alignment part, we have only these buttons. But if you want to see some extra buttons, you can just click here. In this dialog box, you can click shrink to fit and all the names will be automatically arranged. If it is necessary, they will be, I mean, the size of them will be reduced. As you see, now all of them fit into the cells. The good thing about this is that if you change the size of the cell, they will automatically be changed. So if you make it wide enough, it will not be necessary to reduce their sizes and they will keep their original size. So this is a nice feature which I recommend you to use. Okay, now if you want to put borders, first we have to show the area. And from here we can choose if we want to put border to top, bottom, left, right, whatever. I will choose all borders. Um, now it's time to show some formulas. First of all, as you know, the first thing that we have to type is equal sign. Then I want to calculate the mark of Vilma. Excel doesn't know how marks are calculated in North Cyprus, so we have to tell it. We will tell Excel that midterm mark is multiplied by 2. Then we add final mark times 3. Also, we add the homework mark and we divide the whole total to 6. Therefore, we need these parentheses, just as in mathematics. So, Vilma got 8.5. For the other students, we don't need to write the formula again and again. So, we can just copy this formula to the other cells. And for each and every student, now we have the results. As you know, on the report, um, we don't write dotted um, values which have digits after decimal dot. We write rounded to the nearest integer. So let's make it. Um, for this purpose, we will use a function provided by Excel. In our formula, we will use this round function. As I type R, it shows me all the functions which start with R. As I continue typing, it narrows down the list. It shows only the ones which start with row. So I found round. I double click it with my mouse. Now there is a tooltip box which helps me how to use this function. It says that round function has two parts. First part is the number that I want to round. So I will click this. This is the number that I want to round. Then I will use separator shown here. On this computer I have to use comma. On some computers, we have to use semicolon. So we have to check it from this tooltip. Okay, I put comma. And now we are in the second part. We will show how many digits we want after the decimal point. Because we don't want any digits, I put zero. And I see the result. Now, the status will show if 
Wilma, whether Wilma passed or failed. To do this, I will use if function. The I can double click again. If function has three parts. The first part is the logical test. The test that I will make is this. If the mark is greater than four, then I will say passed. So I will put the separator to pass to the second part, and I will say passed. And if not, I mean otherwise or else, we will say failed. I have to put this quotes. If I forget, Excel will complain. It will give error. Okay, I wrote the formula and I entered. Now we can copy both of these at the same time. So for all the students, we have the corresponding report marks and status. Um, to find the lowest mark, we can use the minimum function. So I will say minimum. I will choose the area which contains the numbers. It will show me the minimum, which is 3. To find highest, I will say max, which means maximum. And I will double click. I will choose the area. It will show that maximum is 9. For average, I will say average. I will show the area, yes. There are many other functions available in Excel. You can see a list of them here. You can get to the formulas tab. For example, in the auto tab, we have average, count, max, min. Also, we have if and many other functions. You can try them to see how they work. You can learn them by yourself if you want. Now, I want to count how many people passed. For this purpose, I will use count function, but there are different counts. The one that I will use is count if, because I will count the ones that satisfy a condition. So I will say count if, I will choose the range, and after the separator, I will say passed, so that it counts how many passed are written in these cells. So three, so one, two, three, three people passed. Similarly, I will do this um, for sorry it's not count it is count if i will do the same thing for failed now i see how many people pass how many people fail um let me show you conditional formatting i mean formatting which depends on condition for these cells which have failed i want them to appear in red color so i choose this and i go to conditional formatting there are many options i will show just one of them I will say if it is equal to um, failed, make it red. I can make yellow if I want or whatever color I prefer. I will make them look um, red. If you want, you can add extra rules. You can go to the same place. You can write if passed, then make it green. Okay, and if a mark changes, for example, if Marios got zero, then you see he failed and the statistics all change. Now, it is the time to insert a chart. First of all, we have to show Excel for what data we want the chart. So we must choose this area. Then we go to insert. Then we choose the type of chart that we like. If you want bar chart, we can choose this one. But I want pie chart this time, and I will prefer a three-dimensional pie chart. Because it's very large, I can make it smaller from the corner, or I can carry it, I can drag it to wherever I want. Um, I can also change its appearance. There are two tabs which come here when I click the chart. I mean, when I click anywhere else in the worksheet, the last tab is view, or it may be help, depending on your version of Excel. But if you click the chart, these chart tools will also come here. So you can go to design and choose one style that you like, for example, this one. Or if you want to make other changes, you can go to the format tab. For example, you can fill the shape with some other color. Or you can change the outline, which means the border. So you, let's make it thicker. Um, let's make it dotted and let's make it purple if you want to change text you can change the appearance of text from here but everything will change if you want to change only one part first you have to show it to excel 